So this is Cody, uh, the um, media center uh, software. Now, at first glance, you might think to yourself, well, what do I need a media center for? Well, Cody is really a more than just a media center. It has a repository uh, downloading uh, ability. Uh, so you could uh, set up a repository and get uh, the IPTV channels that are available to you. Sometimes uh, this will break into something that is uh, illegal in your country, but um, we're cutting the cord here. And, you know, some of these uh, repositories are indeed legal. So uh, you just have to make take your own judgment on this. You got to make your own judgment call on this one. So let's uh, go over here. You can see that Raspberry Pi is set up. And we're going to test Cody on my Windows system right now so that uh, we're going to take this project to our little mini computer, our Raspberry Pi 2s that we have set up. Uh, but that's in, in in the next stage. So let's, let's start up Cody and uh, show you what this thing's all about. So as you could say, oh, mermaid. When was the last time you seen a mermaid? There are one package files to. So what this this program does is it keeps track of how much space it's taken on your system because it could obviously use a lot. So uh, the mouse is disabled. Well, the mouse works. It says it's disabled. You use your your keyboard keys. Uh, so what do I want to do here? So you can watch YouTube streams here. You can go on demand, music, pictures. Specifically, if you have cut the cord, though, uh, we have movies, we have TV shows. All my favorites. Uh, so yeah, you can search through the TV shows uh, when you get over here. Uh, live TV, you can watch TV in uh, the UK. Uh, so let's go back here uh, to start up another system here show you what that's all about uh, I think it's called let's just try system so this is also a PVR if you want to uh, record your, your, now I really got to figure this out because I, I don't know, summary, that's a good idea. Okay, so it's time to start over here from fresh. So uh, our next screen, we're going to see Cody from a, a basic what you get out of the box style. We'll reopen Cody up, and this time we get to the the normal interface. Now this is the 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 interface that you'll come up with when you uh, install Cody. You'll get this uh, bar, and it has nothing in it basically. So what we want to do is we want to go over to File Manager. We want to add a source. Okay, and in this source, we're going to put, I've already done this, so I'm just going to demonstrate for you. So, HTTP, uh, 
put that into that bar done and then down here put oop no 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 dot Aries and that's your source for this media I already put it in I have an expectation that it's gonna still be in there so I'm gonna press cancel because I don't wanna mess things up so let's go back to uh, system settings add-ons install from zip oh, I can't find it can I haha <laughs> So it looks like we're going to have to file manager, add source, HTTP, now I have heard that, oh, oh big, big uh, thing that we forgot here, zip, there, so ariswizard.co.uk I want to erase that we'll press dot eight capital A R E S okay uh, then we'll go back we'll go to system settings add-ons install from zip Aries dot Aries install from zip you want to press script this you can see down in the middle on the bottom corner here it's it's uh, downloading its goods so as you can see the Aries wizard was uh, installed Now that we have that repository set up we can go over to programs here now and uh, I already you already seen the demo of schism TV it has a whole bunch of stuff but as if I show you the Aries wizard here this is where we get into the tasty bits so we close this bid uh, we're working down in the corner here. You can see it's being loaded. So this is our main our main screen for the Aries wizard Now there's lots of things in here, but uh, you're gonna see login. That's not necessary Browse downloads now. There's something that happens when you browse a download and uh, We're gonna download this for you uh, It's gonna take a long time. I've tried black boss box and it was great schism I've only seen what you've seen this morning but if you look at the description down below you can see that Spence TV is in a UK channel uh, has 19,000 downloads schism has 10,000 and the next one down beast which is a great or no I watched I did the black box I had 1300 it was great so 1300 downloads ain't too shabby this might be the one that works on our uh, Raspberry Pi 2 because it's a lot smaller and imagine up where it be oh look at that Star Wars build It'll take a second for this to load up but let's see what the <laughs> just as you would expect the Star Wars theme so let's try spins. It's going to take a while for this to download. I want to demonstrate something that goes wrong with this so you know what to do when it happens. This little download wizard thing here is great, but at around 60% uh, it disappears. So uh, we'll be right back when it happens. This is a big build, so uh, obviously we got to be patient for the download. Uh, my downloads uh, have consistently been, they started about a megabyte, but they it 
consistently are about 250 kilobytes. I think that means that the server is uh, set up so that this is its happy spot spot for you downloading the wizard uh, now how are these movies downloaded to your computer now I imagine this is kind of like the swarm you know where uh, people have uh, torrent lists somewhere out there uh, kinda like uh, your uh, your bit torrent type of thing or this is a natural prog progression from Napster, I think, because, uh, you know, Napster was really kind of the first BitTorrent kind of uh, service out there. Uh, and uh looks like this is a, bit ser a BitTorrent service as well. We're going to try to find uh, a movie or something that we can you know play 10 seconds of and get off we don't want to have any uh, copyright claims on this video so I gotta be careful about what I show <laughs> we'll just wait till this wizard finishes I have an expectation that this little download uh, window here is going to disappear on me and the fix for that is to press this close button uh, so the the download button disappears it looks like it's stalled but you press the close button the download button will reappear that's just what I found uh, with my own hacky clicky kind of thing so we'll be right back guys when uh, this video or w when this wizard is done downloading so I'm just gonna speak up now and uh, say you know Murphy's law usually says you know when you say something's gonna happen it doesn't happen or when you say something's not gonna happen it is gonna happen so we're at 92 percent I don't see it disappearing yet so I don't know if it is gonna disappear well oh, starting to get doubtful about it Oh, here. Stop that. Uh, but yeah, we made it through this download. It took about 15 minutes for my the download on my system. I know that's a long time. Uh, but if you leave the system and come back to it, and this download wizard has gone, just press this close button, and it should come back and finish its download. It's still downloading in the background as what I've determined <laughs> so just let this finish up and install and then we'll have to force quit the Aries wizard system uh, where we'll be back in that system instead of the the basic Cody media center system so as you can see this repository is fairly big with 19,000 downloads in it so now uh, the wizard made it all the way through without failing like I said it was gonna fail but it didn't fail I'm a jackass but uh, anyways we're unloading all our scripts from the file all this stuff takes takes time because you know it's a huge file like when I, I tried out the black box and I thought it had everything in it I was watching live TV uh, American Canadian all over the world and that was on the black box and it says that it only has 4,000 downloads so I don't know what the spins TV is okay so about. it's at this point where I gotta tell you that We're spins TV is a subscription based system and we don't have a subscription obviously so we uh, switched over to the other one, whatever it's called. The logo is going to come in about two seconds. Okay, so here we are. Back where we were. Live television. 
That's okay with what we've got in there. No, live television. Also, you can, if you press left, you can search movie trailers. Gen Genesis is a is a repository of uh, stuffs. Huh. Good. And as you can see, if we opened up live TV, we can watch UK television, all their channels. It'll load up with, it'll update itself. This, this is updating itself right now, but as you saw before, it, it was updated. Uh, kids, obviously you've got cartoons. Uh, her place is probably horror movies. So, got all kinds of options, and uh, even if you're into... Uh, I heard that there's some sexy stuff on here somewhere. I'm just not digging too deep. I'm not really interested in that kind of thing. So th thanks for watching this video, guys. In the next video, we're going to put together our Raspberry Pi, throw it in the case, and uh, then we're going to try in the third video to install uh, Cody and its repositories onto the Raspberry Pi and see if we can make a little media center that hangs up on the wall in my house.